Kyung Tak from South Korea. Um, actually, I'm working as a head of sales in Aston. Uh, so Aston is a, a simple decentralized document distribution platform, which we seek to uh, replace and automate all the documents issued by the doc, uh, trusted third parties. So I've been uh, in this industry uh, not so long, for, but I have been like uh, having connections with this blockchain uh, industry since in 2013, which uh, I was in college in UC Berkeley. So um, I had like so, so much influence um, by the blockchainers in Silicon Valley. And that's how I really got into this industry. Um, yes? Perfect. <laughs> uh, and so when it comes to fiat money, what do you think is the future of money in that sense? Like, do you think that fiat money is going to go away? Is it going to be replaced by cryptocurrency? You know, how do you see the future of these two, like, fine things? So uh, I see this uh, relationship between fiat currencies and the Bitcoin um, is that the fiat currencies will be never be replaced by Bitcoins. Uh, Bitcoin is a way to connect uh, or um, I'm sorry. Can you? Um, Bitcoin is that one that connects, and um, how do you say link? Um, so the, so the Bitcoin is only a way of linking fiat currencies across the globe. So um, I think the Bitcoin will be replaced by some other coins that it has a better specs. Um, yeah, so Bitcoin will never replace the fiat currencies. I, I mean, the fiat, uh, there will be some countries that will replace their fiat currencies with Bitcoin, but I don't think Bitcoin will replace the whole fiat currencies. Yes. So, so right now I know that there's been some tough regulations on ICOs in South Korea. So what do you what do you think is sort of the future of ICOs in South Korea? So uh, actually South Korea just have, just have banned their ICOs in their jurisdiction. Um, I think so the Korean government is actually waiting for use cases in foreign countries such as US or China. So what basically Korea do is follow those instructions from the bigger countries, right? And uh, actually there are small movements uh, to actually uh, fight against those regulations and um, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, blockchain communities are rising and um, I think the regulations will be uh, partly worn off when it comes to the utilities of the coin. Um, if the coin is not in form of the securities, I think Korea will let it just like US did. Yes. Cool. Uh, ah, right. Uh, so what do you think is the industry that is most in need of this technology, most in need of like basically a, a whole upheaval renovation? So, so what industry do you think really, really needs this technology? Um, so basically, uh, the CEO of McCarthy, Mac McCarthy, uh, the, the uh, Mr. Dave Dewalt, he said there's one trillion dollars of damage cost for data breach and um, uh, yeah, data breach. And, um, so, you know, like in all of those cases will be drawn from the IT industry and, um, and the documents, like confidential documents breached uh, by a, a, a ordinary company. So uh, I might say any company that has an office is actually an, an industry for this blockchain industry. That, that's what I think. Um, subscribers, we have, we have a, thing, a, a way to sort of inspire them. What is a company that you sort of, or a technology that you wish existed but, but hasn't really been invented yet or hasn't gone out there? One second. <sighs> okay, so my, my parents have been trading, uh, trading life uh, for his entire life and he is actually, he always had headaches with the older documents and the manipulation of the documents because I mean they are not not very honest with the documents there are some people who wants to fraud the documents so uh, I think there should be a, a blockchain that records all the uh, all, all of the documents incurred from the international trade cool. yes nice that was the last question